सो ऑन संडे वी वेंट आउट फॉर लंच एंड टू पकवान रेस्टोरेंट इन फ्री मॉन्ट एंड वी हैड दिस चिकन बिरयानी सम चिकन हलीम एंड दया नान आई ऑल्सो हैड अ कप ऑफ टी इट वॉज ओके द मील वॉज इन दैट ग्रेट then we got a car washed uh, from a nearby uh, car wash center in sunnyvale and uh, this was my first time first time experiencing car wash procedure in us so it's really very scary though when you have to sit inside and the car automatically moves through different you know uh, different procedures of cleaning like uh, there is soap wash water wash and drying and then uh, once that is done um you come outside and there is a free vacuum service where you can park your car and use the vacuum cleaners there and get it vacuumed you can do it by yourself so we did the basic cleaning because it's our new car so we did the basic cleaning of 15 dollars uh, and then we did this vacuum cleaning outside which was free so this is how uh, we got our car clean from nearby washing center in us hey guys so as you all have must have read from title of the video i seasoned my cast iron skillet here in usa uh, so i got this uh, skillet here itself uh, from one of the stores i think it was from ross so um, it was a great deal like i got it for some 9 dollars or something and i think it's very cheap as compared to uh, you know uh, the iron utensils that you get in U uh, india uh, in india they are very expensive if you go to you know uh, buy from some good brand or something like that or even if you buy it online it's expensive it's you know everything is about 1000 so especially a good quality one like a thick one so the one which i have is very thick and a good quality one but uh, it was written pre seasoned and everything on it so i thought i can use it directly since it is seasoned uh, and then i got it home i at uh, the next day i prepared dosas on it uh, not dosa i prepared pore that is the goan uh, you know ukde tandra chai pore uh so i prepared that and it was a disaster you know everything got stuck to the pan and like mm, half my batter got wasted so i was very very pissed at that time so what i did was i just took the skillet i washed it and kept it inside and never used it it's been 2 months <laughs> since i got it and i've never used it so uh now i'm planning to use it by seasoning it and what i did was i saw multiple videos on the internet got some tips from my mother in law also so we are going to use all of that and season my iron skillet so this is the iron kadai that i had got from ross here in the us and um, it was for 9 and it's pretty good it's very heavy and you can can you see it like it's very thick so yeah we are going to season this iron kadai today so we don't need anything you know extraordinary to season our cast iron utensil what i need is i need oil i need an onion okay and oven or if you don't have an oven you can do it on a gas stove so there are many benefits of using cast iron cookware one of the benefits is that it uses very less oil cooking oil and if uh, seasoned properly it can be used as a non stick cookware and uh, secondly it is chemical free or cast iron uh, cookware they are free of any chemicals non stick cookware there are many chemicals involved in it so one of it is pcf uh, which is you know known to cause development problems and liver problems so i was going through some of the benefits of using iron cookware uh, i came to know that you can bake your food in cast iron cookware it retains and keeps heat and it's durable <laughs> so let's see i'll try using it i'll season it and try using it and then i'll give my review once i start using it and if you all guys can let me know your uh, you know experience with cast iron cookware if it's uh, really good or i all you know facing any problems with cast iron utensils like it's very troublesome to wash them or you know just to take care of them do let me know in the comment section if you all if you all have used any uh, you know cast iron cookware and guys if you all have watched the video till here then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave your valuable feedback in the comment section it uh, really motivates me to make more videos it's you know very sad and i take so much of trouble to make this video edit this videos post it on youtube and then there are so many of you all subscribing uh, you know and um, who have subscribed to my channel who watch my videos but i don't see any interaction so please interact with my videos so that even i know what's going on you know uh, share your uh, story 
please with me if you all can relate to my life do let me know in the comment section and there are some people who really make it a point to you know comment on on all of my videos and that's really really special and i'm really thankful for you guys so thank you so much so first up we are going to wash this skillet with mild dish washer liquid and some warm water since it's not seasoned and i'm washing it for the first time i'm going to wash it with a dishwasher once you season it you you should avoid using a dishwasher if it's very harsh and everything you shouldn't use a dish So once you wash the skillet thoroughly with uh, the dishwasher and warm water, I'm gonna you know clean and dry the skillet uh, so that the all of the moisture is wiped off. <laughs> Make sure that you clean it dry. Sorry, wipe it dry with a cloth. Okay, a nice absorbent cloth to in order to prevent any rusting or anything. Okay, so you need to like wipe it very dry. Once you wash it dry, what we're going to need is one onion, some oil. I'm going to pour this oil in the skillet. And I'm going to spread the oil with this onion. So once you have nicely coated uh, the skillet with uh, any oil, especially I have used vegetable oil, use any high uh, any oil which has a high heating point. Okay, so I have co covered the entire skillet with this oil now. Now I'm going to wipe any excessive, uh, you know, amount of oil on the pan. Do not completely wipe it. Just dab, 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 and you know, uh, remove any excess oil so that it doesn't drip. Okay, so it has to be a thin film of oil above uh, the pan. You can set the temperature to uh, uh, you know 375 Fahrenheit degree Fahrenheit or uh, to 400 Fahrenheit uh, or uh, that is 190 degree Celsius to 200 degree Celsius. Preheat the oven and then transfer the skillet in the oven. And once that is done, let it you know uh, bake for like one hour. Is there in the oven? Just keep it there. Let it cool cool down inside the oven. Next day, repeat the entire procedure like you know applying the oil with the same uh, onion. I'm going to save this onion. Keep it in the fridge. You know uh, the onion and the oil and then apply it the next day and i'm going to do it for at least a week so that i, ha I have a nice you know seasoned uh, skillet so you can do it once but a, a better seasoned skillet uh, is a one which is seasoned for you know quite some time so we can do that or you can at least do it for like five to six times uh, and then use it Now uh, I have kept my skillet for seasoning. There's a plane going from here. So there's a plane, you know, uh, passing by like every one hour here. So there is a disturbance. Okay, so uh, I've kept my um, iron kadai, sorry, iron tawa or skillet in the oven and I'm gonna keep it there in for like one hour and after that uh, I'll switch off the oven and I'll let the skillet cool down inside the oven itself. One of the tips while using the iron skillet uh, would be do not use acidic you know ingredients if your um, skillet is not seasoned well okay once it is seasoned well you can use anything in it but try to avoid you know acidic substances like uh, tamarind, lemon or uh, tomatoes okay uh, because it can like you know remove the coat the seasoning coat so if it is well seasoned you can use it but if it is not then it can you know uh, remove the layer and can uh, result in rusting or it won't be a non-stick pen one of the uh, other tip is that uh, you have to maintain your iron uh, cookware okay cast iron cookware so once you are done using it you have to uh, you know wash it nicely with water and wipe it you know and keep it 
you have to make sure to wipe it because otherwise it will rust and make sure to you know occasionally uh, season it in order to maintain or you know make it more uh, efficient that's it um, for cast iron seasoning i hope you found this information informative and uh, if you have some uh, cast iron utensils you know uh, laying somewhere in the back of your uh, kitchen cabinet do remove it out and try using it uh, and one more thing guys if you are from uh, bay area or us uh, and if you are a goan please do comment down uh, you know uh, saying that you are a goan and you stay here and share your experiences so that you know uh, we can have a conversation or we can discuss some points because i've come here it's just been 3 months and anything any kind of uh, you know information uh, that will help me you know leave here and you know stay connected with people uh, is something i'd really appreciate so if uh there are some people uh, you know there are some people from goa who have connected with me and i'm in touch with them and yeah so if you are someone who is also from goa please comment down and if you all are watching my videos from goa uh i i want to tell you all that i miss goa so much and uh, do let me know what's going on in goa in the comment section yeah bye i'll see you in my next video until then goodbye